Hey folks, uh, doing another unboxing here. Uh, this is another game I picked up from Gen Con. This, Gen Con, this is called No Mahalo. Uh, it's by The Op. Um, was one of the quote unquote hits of the con, so to speak, um, or at least one that a lot of people went for. I don't know if they sold out, but it was definitely a popular game. Uh, seems like it's a somewhat similar game, or a, si similar, uh, a somewhat simple game. Uh, where you're tiling, you're just scoring points based on how you set tiles. It's kind of like Carcassonne, but not not entirely quite. Let's go ahead and get it opened up here. Uh, all right, we have our field guide. Uh, this is one I did already open up, and you can see the pieces are all over the place from where I initially put them. Uh, glossy paper, uh, a rule book, it goes through how to set everything up. Gotta do tiles. So you're scoring. You're wanting to create rings of these flowers and mushrooms and sort of do that type of scoring. How to move, game end, play variations, flower guide, mushroom guide, reference guide on the back. Uh, we've got a nice canvas bag here. We have the player boards here and these are magnetic so your player pieces did I open them maybe I haven't opened this I don't think I did I yeah I did open this um, these are magnetic they have mag magnets inside so they do um, your pieces do stick to the boards um, they're rather hefty they are double-sided uh, this is the board where the uh, the flower slash mushroom tiles go I believe and this is the scoring board. I'm not sure what this board does. It's just reference maybe. Here's the central piece that you start off with. Here's all the tiles. We've got cards. Yeah, all this is dumped in here. I don't think I organized this very well yet. Uh, you have your wooden gnome pieces. Um, let me get some of these open here, so you can kind of see the, they are screen printed, uh, on both sides, little gnomes, and we have similarly, similarly screen printed mushroom tokens post signs and then here are the pieces you see they have a magnet in the bottoms it helps them stick that'll help them stick to your player boards so that's sort of the gimmick for lack of a better term uh, but I do need to go through and get more baggies and organize all of this because uh, I think it only came with one or two baggies I've got two here. Yeah, maybe two or three baggies. Um, this stuff is supposed to sit in here thusly, but it doesn't really do that great of a job. I mean, it's a nice thought and sentiment, but it just doesn't... I think that the, the thinking was the player boards will be so heavy they hold everything down, but they really don't canvas bag and the field guide I also got the deluxe upgraded components so all of the stuff that's in there that's cardboard is is wooden screen printed tokens as well a whole big bag of those because why not um, but anyways you're you're yeah you're you're placing the tiles out you're trying to create rings of flowers and mushrooms to score points <clears throat> Uh, and that's basically the gist of the game, from what I understand. Um, again, it looks like it's a simpler game, but it does look like it might be fun. Uh, I would imagine if you're a fan of Carcassonne, you're probably going to like this quite a bit. Um, oh, again, this was a package deal at Gen Con, I believe. The, the, the uh, upgrade kit and the game. I don't know what these go for separately, uh, but anyways, that is Gnome Hollow.
Thanks for watching.